My name is Martha Miller Mathias and I'm chairman of the board of Frank Miller Lumber. My grandfather, John Miller, started Frank Miller Lumber in 1903, filling small orders for local farmers around the Union City, Indiana area. My father, Frank, worked alongside his father, John, in the lumber business, eventually taking over the operation when his father passed away in 1918. In the earliest days, the mill was run by a steam engine until the 1920s when an electric motor was installed. The same motor was still in use until 1992. In the 1920s, with only eight employees, the average production was only 2,000 board feet per day. Today, the production rate is over 5,000 board feet per hour. My mother, May, and my brother, Robert, stepped in to manage the company when my father passed away in 1948. After I graduated from college in 1960, I returned to the family business serving in various capacities and now serve as chairman of the board. In 1982, we began the quarter sawing process to serve the needs of the Japanese market. We continue to serve those same customers today and have expanded our customer base across the globe. In 1992, on New Year's Day, a fire completely destroyed the sawmill. After months of planning and rebuilding, the rebirth of FML as we know it today took place in 1993. In 1995, a retail outlet store was added to serve the less than truckload user. There are currently four generations of the Miller family working in the company. My brother Robert and daughter Susan serve on the board. Robert's sons, Bob and Mark, work in business development and sales. We have a team of dedicated professionals with various talents and expertise that continue to explore new ways to improve production of quality hardwoods and the service FML provides its customers. Frank Miller Lumber has been a family company since 1903. Currently, we have over 200 employees who are an important part of that family. Ours is truly a story of humble beginnings and we've expanded to see our product in use all over the world.